Resourceful Designer, episode 196, a look back, a look ahead, 2019 edition. Welcome to the Resourceful Designer podcast, offering solutions to streamline your graphic and web design business so you can get back to designing. And now, your host, he prefers fantasy over science fiction, Mark Dickout. Welcome to the podcast. Happy holidays and thank you for listening. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, first of all, thank you very much. But I just want you to know that this episode is not a typical episode. Normally in an episode of the Resourceful Designer podcast, I will start off by sharing a little bit about what I've been up to, then a resource, then getting into whatever topic is I'm talking about. Well, I'm not going to do that this week. This week is just me and you having a little chat. You see, Last week in the Resourceful Designer community, we held a video chat where we shared our goals for next year. And for those who couldn't attend the live video chat, we actually listed our goals in the personal growth channel in our Slack group. Thinking of my goals for 2020 reminded me that at the end of last year, I did a podcast episode titled A Look Back, A Look Ahead where I talked about what I had accomplished in 2018 and my goals for 2019. Well, I thought it would be fun to make that episode an annual tradition. So, as the final podcast of 2019, and yes, that means I'm taking next week off, so no episode coming out next week, I bring you a look back, a look ahead, 2019 edition. So let's start with the goals I had set for myself last year. I went back and re-listened to that episode, And here are some of the things I talked about. In 2019, I wanted to focus my efforts and target a certain niche with my design services. Well, in February of 2019, I launched podcastbranding.co, where I offer visual identity services for podcasters. And it's going great. Now, I also had a goal to speak at more conferences. Well, that one I'm afraid to say I failed at it. In fact, I didn't talk at any conferences in 2019. I did submit to a few, but none of my ideas were were chosen. They all turned me down, and I didn't have any speaking engagements. Now, I was invited to speak at a one-day design conference that was in the southern U.S., but all they were able to offer me was a free ticket to the event. I would have had to pay for my flight down there, my accommodations and everything, and it just wasn't feasible for me to pay that much to go down there just to speak for an hour. But I was very grateful at the opportunity or the invitation. Now, also in 2019, I did want to grow the listenership for Resourceful Designer. Now, that one there, it's a little bit hard to judge on whether I accomplished it or not, because partway through 2019, the podcast industry changed the way they measure downloads. And most people, including myself, saw a big drop in our stats. Now, this was actually a good change because what it did was it removed a lot of false positives where things like Google bots or that would trigger something and it would show as a download when nobody was actually listening to the podcast. So a lot of those things were inflating our numbers. So when they implemented these new standards, a lot of our numbers dropped. However, my numbers since the drop have now climbed back up to where they were at this time last year. So in my mind, Because now they've removed all the false positive, that means that those numbers are real people listening to the podcast. So if that's the case, then I say my listenership did go up. So goal accomplished. But that's an ongoing one. I always want more listeners. And that's something you can actually help me with. If you enjoy this podcast, why not spread the word? Tell it to your fellow designers. Let them know about it. They can listen to it on Spotify, on Google Podcasts, on Apple Podcasts, or anywhere the podcasts are found. And if they're not sure about finding a podcast on any of those platforms, just tell them that there's a Resourceful Designer app for both iOS and Android. I'm sure they know how to download an app to their phone. And of course, my big goal for 2019 was creating the Resourceful Designer community. And let me tell you, it has exceeded my expectations. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love for more people to join, especially you. And if you're interested, visit resourcefuldesigner.com slash community. But let me tell you, the friendships forming in the community are better than I ever imagined. In fact, later today, I'm recording this in the morning, but later this afternoon, the community is getting together on a video chat so we can open up the secret Santa gifts that we got each other. That's right, we sent each other secret Santa gifts. And I've had this package sitting on the corner of my desk for almost two weeks now, 
And I can't tell you how much I wanted to open it to see what's in it, but I didn't. I'm going to wait for the, the live video and open it up so everybody can see. And I just can't wait to see what my secret Santa got me. So what are some of the numbers for my business and everything from 2019? Well, for Resourceful Designer, I released, including this episode, 50 podcast episodes, which is exactly what I wanted to do. I'm not releasing an episode next week, so that's where one goes away. And I did fail. There was one week earlier in the year, the the week that my dog died, I decided not to release an episode that week. So that put it at 50, which is exactly where I want it to be. In total, I've had over 430,000 downloads of the podcast which is more than double what it was at this time last year. Last year, there was 200,000 or just over 200,000 downloads. So now I'm at 430, which means that sometime early in 2020, I'm going to pass the half million download mark, which is amazing. And in 2019, as I said, the podcast is available on many different platforms. Well, in 2019, it got added to Pandora and to Deezer. In fact, I don't even know what Deezer is, but the podcast is on there if you need to find it. Now, for Marksman Design, which is my design business, in 2019, I did work for 29 different clients, which is actually up from last year. Last year, I did 27 clients. This year, 29 different clients I did work for. But only seven of them were first-time clients. That means that 22 were returning clients. And that's down from last year. Last year, nine first-time clients. This year, seven, so two less. But the interesting thing is, In 2018, I had sent out 93 total invoices across the year. In 2019, I only sent 57 invoices, a lot less. And yet, when I look at my income, my income has actually gone up. So fewer invoices, but those invoices were sent for bigger amounts. What I chalk that up to is the fact that towards the end of 2018 is when I truly embraced the fixed rate and value-based pricing. So I started really charging what my services were worth, and it shows that even though I'm putting out less invoices, I'm making more money this year. And just to let you know, when I say more money, this is somewhere in the high five-figure range. I have never, in all my years of business, I have never broken $100,000 in a year. I'm in the, towards the high five figures. And I want to put that out there because there are so many people in this space that they call themselves influencers. I don't like that term. I don't like to be considered an influencer, even though I know a lot of people think I am. But many of those influencers, they are out there toting that you should be making millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars for jobs. And, you know, some of them are talking, uh, you know, they they're, have videos in front of their Maseratis or their big mansions. And that's not what Resourceful Designer is about. I never claim to be rich. I never claim to be making tons and tons and tons of money. I'm making a very comfortable living doing what I love from my home. And that's what I'm trying to teach you. Because in all honesty, I don't think it's feasible for these people to claim that everybody listening to them can make that sort of money. I personally know a lot of designers, and I can't think of a single designer I know that is making enough money to afford a Maserati. So I just wanted to put that out there. So it's not discouraging to you to know that you can have a very comfortable living with, as I said, I had 29 different clients this year, but even half of that, you can make a good living. When I first started my business, I had less than a dozen clients and it was enough for me to quit my job and make a good living from my services. So just keep that in mind that some people out there are saying that you know, you really have to push yourself and you can make all this big bucks. You don't need to make big bucks or to push yourself to the point of exhaustion in order to try. If you love design and you can make enough from it to have a good, decent living, then hopefully you'll be satisfied. Now, I did mention that in 2019, I launched podcast branding. Well, with podcast branding, I've had 18 different clients since February, but Out of those 18, six of them have come in the past month, and it's been through SEO and through mentions in articles. One particular article out there that mentioned podcast branding as a good place to get podcast cover art has sent me several new clients over the past several weeks. So now on to 2020. What are my goals? And although my my goals that I mentioned for 2019, they still stand. They're going to carry over to 2020. 
I'd still like to grow the podcast listenership. I do want to speak more. In fact, I've already been accepted to present at a podcast conference in March. So already I've accomplished that goal. I've been asked to speak. I've also been approached to speak at WordCamp Ottawa next year. Although in that case, they just asked me if I would submit a presentation. They would love to have me speak, but I still have to submit whatever it is I'm going to talk about and have them accept it. So that one's not a done deal, but they did approach me and ask me if I would present there. And of course, I want to continue to grow the resourceful designer community. It's such an amazing place right now with some great people, but I know it can be even better. But my main goal for 2020 is to grow podcast branding. That's where I'm going to focus most of my effort for the new year. I would actually like to see the income I generate through podcast branding to surpass what I make through Marksman Design. And I have a lot of ideas and already a lot of plans in place. And I'm pretty confident that with everything I have planned to do, that I can make that happen, that make the income through podcast branding surpass Marksman Design. So that's the one main goal I have for 2020, along with the other recurring goals that are just carrying over from 2019. But what about you? Did you accomplish your goals in 2019? And what are your goals for the new year? Are you a student getting ready to graduate? What are your goals once you're done school? Are you still fairly new to the design world? What are your goals to hone your skills? Are you a veteran designer like I am? But what are your goals for continued growth? Are you a designer working for somebody else? Maybe you enjoy your job, maybe you don't. Either way, what are your future goals? Or perhaps you're already a home-based designer or a freelancer if you want to use that term. What are your goals to grow your business? Wherever you are in the world, whatever your skill level is, whatever your situation is, I want you to take some time and look back at 2019 and think about your accomplishments and think about your shortcomings. Did you stop after your accomplishments, give yourself a pat on the back and say, good job, and that was it? Or did you plow right through them, happy with yourself for accomplishing them, but pushing yourself and reaching even further? And what about your shortcomings? Did they discourage you to the point of stopping? Or did they create a sense of want so great that you just continued on stronger than before? Did you actually reach the goals you set for yourself and your design business in 2019? And if yes, were you happy with the outcome? Was reaching those goals enough for you? And if no, if you did not reach your goals, think about what prevented you from reaching them and how you can overcome that in this new year. Now, as 2019 comes to an end, I encourage you to reflect on this past year. Think about everything you accomplished and those things you fell short on, and come up with a plan to make 2020 your year of success. Now, as I said, there's going to be no episode next week, but if you want a dose of resourceful designer just the same, I would encourage you to go back and listen to episode 55 of the podcast at resourcefuldesigner.com slash episode 55. And that episode is all about setting goals for your design business. It's the perfect episode to listen to at this time of year. Now, I'll be back in 2020 with lots more advice for starting and growing your design business. But until then, I am Mark Decote, wishing you, well, in my case, a Merry Christmas. But if you and your family don't celebrate Christmas, maybe you celebrate something else, or maybe you don't celebrate anything at all, I hope you pass a great season nonetheless and spend some time with loved ones. That's what this time of year is all about. And of course, I couldn't end the podcast without saying that no matter what goals you set for yourself in the new year, the one thing you have to remember is to stay creative. Thanks for listening to the Resourceful Designer Podcast at resourcefuldesigner.com.